¡Ay, caramba! I love making homemade margaritas and last year I started a new tradition with a special pomegranate and clementine margarita and this is a tradition I plan on making and keeping year after year. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and welcome to Cravings with Adventures. I'm so glad you're back because today we're going to be making a delicious pomegranate and clementine margarita. Now when you think about Christmas, the flavors that are right up there are pomegranate and clementines. I'm going to mix both of these flavors together to make a wonderful festive drink. I'm going to start by making a simple syrup. Now like its name, a simple syrup is really simple. Although I do have some friends that go out and buy it. You know who you are. You don't need to. It's so easy. All you need to do is dissolve one cup of just regular sugar in one cup of boiling water. I'm just going to let this dissolve and I'm going to let it cook for a little bit. Now if you don't want to use sugar, there's other options. I also have this agave liquid. This only has five calories per teaspoon. So you can use this as a substitute. You can also use honey. Once my simple syrup has cooked and it's lost about 25% of its liquid, I'm ready to take it off the heat and I'm just going to let it cool and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. I'm going to start by juicing some lemons and limes and I'm going to get about 200 ml of liquid. I'm going to pour this into a bowl together with some clementines. I'm going to juice these as well and I'm going to juice this till I get about 100 ml of clementine juice and I'm going to add this to my bowl as well. Next, I'm going to add 300 ml of my simple syrup and I'm going to follow this with the star of the show. Why? Tequila, of course. I'm going to use 300 ml of tequila and I'm just going to add this right in. Next, I'm going to add its supporting cast and that is triple sec. I've got 150 ml of triple sec and I'm going to add this into my margarita mixture as well. Finally, I'm going to add my secret ingredient. I always like to add about a quarter cup of jalapeno brine. Now this is the brine that you get jalapenos in. It has a beautiful spiciness as well as a saltiness. If you can't find jalapeno brine, you can also use olive brine. I'm going to mix everything together. I'm going to pour it into a bottle and I'm going to leave it in my fridge to chill. When your guests have arrived and you're ready to serve your very festive drink, all you need to do is moisten the rim of your glass with some lime and dredge it in some coarse salt. I'm going to add some ice to my glasses and then I'm going to pour this wonderful margarita mixture over it. Now you can see that it has a slight tinge of orange from the clementines. I'm also going to add some beautiful pomegranate jewels. These are just going to burst sweetness in your mouth when you chew on them. Now pomegranates are delicious to eat, but they can be quite messy to peel and you can tend to get the juice all over you. If you want a mess-free way to clean a pomegranate, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description as well as at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoy this very festive drink and I hope that you make it your tradition as well. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Spit Adventures. I love to hear from you, so keep those comments coming. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. And make sure that you're following me on all of my social channels. There's lots of excitement there as well. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Snapchat. Until I see you next time, cheers to a wonderful festive season.